It's a sacred thread. It was supposed to be either raw cotton thread prepared in a certain way or raw silk thread. Certain nadi from your system is taken and a certain nadi from your the betrothed one is taken and the thread is prepared in a certain way and it's tied to you. Now, the moment you have physical intimacy is not just the bodies that met, two people's energies become like this. Now you can't break it. You must understand, as mind has memory, physical body has its own memory. This is called Runanubandha. You heard of a word like this? The Indian people? Runanubandha? Runanubandha means it's the physical memory. Physical body itself has its memory. If it goes through certain experiences, it remembers and body responds and reacts in many ways in future based on this memory. Physical intimacies always cause this memory in a big way. And if you imprint with too many memories and there is a certain level of confusion in the body, you work out everything in your life, still you will find you do not know what it means to be blissful. There is no ease. There is no ease in your system because there is a complex impressions of memory in your system and it can confuse the body in such a way that it will cause much trouble to one's life. Understanding all these things, we establish certain patterns, but today's uh, social situations are doing something else. You married? So in India, when you got married, they tied Mangal Sutram to you. Hmm? Mangal Sutra means it's a sacred thread. If this is properly done, what it meant was, you create this thread in a certain way. If you have forgotten this, every year you are supposed to renew this Mangal Sutra. You know this? Hmm? Not being done anymore because it's a thick gold chain. <laughs> it was supposed to be either raw cotton thread, prepared in a certain way or raw silk thread so that there is a whole science, there is a whole way of manipulating one's energies or using one, one's energies which is a tantric way where a certain nadi, you know what's a nadi? We, we've talked about this, the seventy to thousand nadi. Certain nadi from your system is taken and a certain nadi from your the betrothed one is taken and the thread is prepared in a certain way and it's tied to you. Now, the moment you have physical intimacy is not just the bodies that met, two people's energies become like this. Now you can't break it. If you break it, you will have to severely damage both the people, you have to tear them apart. This is how marriages were conducted. They got them married when they were very young. You know, eight, nine, eleven years of age, they got them married, but they tied them up in such a way, it never occurred to them that they need to look elsewhere. It never occurred to them. This may look horrifying for today's mind, but I want you to know the stability of that gave them such power that they could focus on their lives to do what they want to do, because there's no such thing as emotional insecurity. It is a new thing in India. There is simply no such thing as emotional insecurity because there is such a stable bonding. Not an idea ever occurs in people's mind, could my husband be doing something, could my wife be doing something else. Such a thing never occurs because they've been tied internally in a certain way. But that's become just an empty ritual now. Even now, some of the marriages that I've performed, we've done this to people and the level of harmony in them is phenomenal. You can see how two people function as one and what a power it is for two people to function just as one being, you know.
It's an enormous power. So, uh, somewhere we thought two legs are not so stable, four legs are always more stable. So we tied up these two, two legs together. <laughs> two legs are not a very… Why we shifted from a bicycle to a car? More stable. <laughs> though it takes more space, though it's more expensive, though it's more polluting, we chose a car to a bicycle because it's more stable. You don't have to balance all the time. That's why marriage. Otherwise, all the time you have to be balancing, all the time you have to be seeking something, all the time you have to feel insecure about your emotional connections with people around you, which won't leave much of you to focus on what you could do with your life. 